Good day folks, welcome back to another time video. We're on to video number five in our uh, Fly Guys favorite fall fly pattern series. Um, so this is the last video of the series, sorry for the delay, but uh, we've managed to find some pretty good chronomid hatches uh, here in the last week, believe it or not. So that's uh, had me a little tied up. Um, but we'll go ahead and get started with this one here. Um, simple little water boatman. Um, I don't think any fall uh, still water box is uh, complete without a, a water boatman back swimmer imitation. Um, this is a super effective, super simple, uh, quick little tie that uh, is sure to get you into some uh, fish in the fall. So um, what I've got in the vise is a size um, 10, uh, just straight eye uh, or down eye nymph hook and um, straight shank. <clears throat> and you can play with the sizes on this, but uh, this one I think seems to work well. And I've got some black uh, Danville uh, 70 denier tying thread so I'm just going to start my thread and just get the hook dressed down almost to the bend here <clears throat> and I'll just go kind of into the bend a little ways and now what I've got is some modeled olive thin skin um, so you can uh, I just cut this stuff to shape you can kind of see I've been banging out a few of these here but um, so you're basically cutting them into kind of a diamond ish shape I guess um, I'll show you what I've got something like that you can round them off if you think that's a better look but I prefer going like this for the profile uh, <clears throat> so take that cut it up and uh, just peel the backing off of it and then we can come in and just give that a couple nice tight wraps just on the very back edge there and bring your thread up to about the three-quarter point and then I just want to check and make sure my thin skin is going to reach the hook eye when I fold it back over. <clears throat> um, now what I've got is some orange uh, stretch floss. You can really mess around with the colors of this stuff. The orange is kind of a gives it a little bit of an attractor uh, type color but feel free to play around with that and I'm just kind of figure eight wrapping this stretch floss um, onto the shank I want these legs pointing a little bit forward that's kind of what we're going for and that looks about good to me doesn't have to be perfect, but if you can get them somewhat angled forward, like so, that will look natural. And then I just take them, both of them, if they'll cooperate, sweep them back. Do not pull on them. You'll end up with shorter than you're after. Snip them off nice and even just like so. <clears throat> now what I've got is some, this is an olive brown ice dub. Uh, so you want a lighter-ish color on the belly here. Yellow would work. Um, I do do quite a few with yellow, but I do like this brown olive. It's got some yellow flash in it, um, some UV. It's uh, super wicked stuff. So <clears throat> I'm just going to dub a noodle here and start at the back and just start to 
wrap this forward and I'll kind of shape the body a little bit thicker in the middle towards the front. <clears throat> <clears throat> and just wrap that until you're happy with it and you can kind of snake your way around these legs <clears throat> but you get her a little thicker in the middle and then I'll just hop up underneath like so get a little more dubbing going here Sweep my legs out of the way. And just like so. Just clean that up, make a little landing pad for our, so you can see there our profile. We've got uh, kind of roughly that a little bit chunkier wider profile that those uh, that the boatmen have. <clears throat> now I'm just going to grab a pair of hackle pliers and this just helps to pull this thin skin nice and tight. So I'm just going to grab the very tip of it with those hackle pliers and then it'll allow you to stretch it a wee bit and you can pick it up, twist it and it'll break off any excess at the same time <clears throat> and then just wrap back on it just a little bit make sure it's nice and secure come in with your whip finisher give it four or five turns <clears throat> so if you've got things semi right and right where your widest part of your thin skin is you'll have those legs poking out so look something like that <clears throat> now I just want to kind of clean up the sides here of any excess dubbing and make sure there's nothing up top this one looks fairly clean There we go. <clears throat> and I've got some UV resin. Uh, this is more of the Deer Creek stuff. Um, but this is the uh, UV Fine Flex. So the flex is kind of important on this pattern because that thin skin moves a little bit. Having the flex is a lot more durable. But I'm just going to coat the top gently here and that'll give it a super nice shiny top just like the naturals have and you'll see once I'm done it kind of makes that mottled thin skin and the dubbing underneath come through gives it a really neat look <clears throat> so I'm just going to cure that come back in Make sure I've got the whole thing covered here. That looks pretty good. Make sure you cover your thread wraps up front there. And then what I've been doing is just to make sure these are ultra, ultra durable is I'll throw them out on the deck for uh, 10, 15, 20 minutes and that will have this resin cured absolutely rock hard and they're super super durable after that <clears throat> <clears throat> so that's about all there is to the uh, little flashy boatman um, those legs may look long but trust me you want those moving in the water and uh, being that little stretch floss that stuff's all over the place when you're stripping them so it does have a wicked profile 
<clears throat> natural look and uh, super super simple so that's the little flashy boatman hope you enjoyed that that wraps up our uh, fly guys favorite fall fly pattern series here um, hope you enjoyed this one and uh, I know this thing will fish well for you so thanks for tuning in give us a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe if you haven't and until the next one cheers and tight lines